Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our heated travel blanket with a 12 volt cord right here at eTrailer. So this is a great travel blanket to keep inside your vehicle for different situations. One could be maybe you're in an emergency situation, your car breaks down, you can still run this off of your 12 volt battery, that way you can stay warm until help arrives. Or maybe you're on a long road trip and everyone else likes the car a little bit cooler, but you like to stay all snuggled up and warm. You can use this blanket and use it for yourself. That way you and everyone else is happy. So whatever reason you want to use a travel blanket for, just remember that this is going to be staying inside your vehicle because it uses a 12 volt cord. If you want something a bit more portable that can use outside, let's say in your tent, you might want to check out different blankets that use a power bank or USB cord instead but for a travel blanket for your vehicle let's check this out and see the different features it has here you have your 12 volt cord and that just plugs right into your vehicle you have an indicator light to show that it's running this also has a safety shut off feature so if you blow a fuse you can replace that as well and then this runs all the way over to our little box so with these controls, you get to adjust your blanket. So just press that power button. There's only one button and it allows you to cycle through the different temperatures. So you can have it on high. You can see if it has a red light, it's on high. Press it again. It goes to medium and then press it again. You have your low temperature, another press and it shuts off. So if you have it on high, this can run up to temperatures as hot as 149 degrees. Adding to those safety features is not only do you have an emergency shut off for if you have overload, you also have an automatic shut off. So after 45 minutes of being plugged in, your blanket itself will turn back into the off mode, which is great because what if you're napping, you fall asleep, you don't want to overheat. So the length of your cord is going to be 94 inches long and that's going to be from where it plugs into your outlet to the edge of the blanket. So that's about 8 feet. So if you have only one plug in your vehicle, it's up towards the front, but you want to use this in the back seat, you can just stretch it out that way. Or let's say you're in a van, like a transit van or a minivan, and you want to make sure it stretches apart, that's how much distance you get. But let's talk about living with it and the comfort level of the blanket. So the material this is made of is a plush fleece and it's built kind of like an open blanket. So on the inside, instead of insulation, you just have air. So you have two layers of that fleece sewn together. Let's take a look at the stitching real quick. So notice the way this blanket is made where you have your seams tucked in or I guess your hem tucked in. That way you don't have seams sticking out and you're not likely to fray your blanket. This makes for a nice comfortable material. It feels very thick and it feels very soft and plush, which I actually like. For the size of the blanket, it's 59 inches long or almost 5 feet long and then for the width it's going to be 43 inches so this can be used by one person or two people if you want two people though it's probably going to be draped over width wise over to just to cover your legs or your shoulders but what i like to do is just snuggle into it and then it becomes a one person blanket so it has a really thin wire that just runs throughout the blanket. You actually won't notice it unless you feel for it, which is how small and compact it is. And I would like to say that it warms up pretty quickly. So what we did is we went through the different cycles. We went to low, medium, high. And in a span of about 15 minutes, it went from about 55 degrees all the way up to 101 degrees Fahrenheit. So while the blanket itself is warm from just its material, it also heats up quickly, which is a good thing. And when you're done with the blanket, you just fold it up and then tuck this cord inside your blanket and you have this plastic case that comes with the blanket. So this just goes over, you have a zipper to secure it and just like that you have a blanket ready to go so i definitely recommend using the case if you're just planning on using this blanket for emergency purposes and you want it safely stored you could also just store the blanket itself inside of your car it's really up to you this does have a little plastic um, handles on the end and that's going to help you carry it around so it's just nice and compact and secure i like how neat that is when it comes to dimensions though in its stored uh, position, you can have it at 
for width it's going to be about 11 and a half inches wide and then for length it's going to be about 14 and a half inches long now it does sit at a height of three inches so from personal experience i always keep a quilt or a blanket inside my car because i get cold easily now a quilt like this takes up about the same amount of space as our heated travel blanket but it takes some time for it to heat up so i'm cold for the first 10 minutes of the drive and then i'm warm underneath the blanket this one warms up very quickly and you have all those other features as well you have the emergency shut off you have the temperature gauge or like where you can pick different temperatures from low, medium, high. You also have a convenient carry case. That way it doesn't get dirty or messy and you don't spill things on it when you're not using it. So this is an affordable travel blanket. I personally prefer having one that would use a power bank or has a USB cord. That way, even when I'm not in the car, I can still use a travel blanket. But if you're the type of person that wants to keep a blanket in your car and are planning on using it often and just want something that plugs straight into your 12 volt outlet and you don't need to carry around different batteries or power banks this might still be a good option for you so hopefully this video helped you out with that decision and that was a look right here at our performance tool heated travel blanket with a built-in timer and a plug for your 12 volt outlets in your vehicles right here at e-trailer